What's up, guys? Happy Tuesday. So, guys, again, I want to do a message today on lack. Okay, first of all, we have to remember lack is a mindset. A lot of people, man, especially business owners, entrepreneurs, we get into business and we think there is not enough. And remember, guys, you think there's not enough. But, guys, it's infinite, okay? You have to understand that when you position yourself, and when you have, when you start to change your mindset, you would then understand that there's more than enough, all right? But a lot of us, even myself, there was a time where I had a lack mindset. I believe there was not enough business. I believe that there was not enough money, not enough opportunity. But as I gradually uh, start changing my mindset, again, guys, shifting how I was thinking, uh, how I was living out my everyday life, my my circumstances, my environment. This is very important. So I'm going to give you two, two ways of helping you change your mindset of lack. All right. So the first one, and especially to my entrepreneurs, are you taking advantage? Really, guys, ask yourself, are you truly taking advantage of opportunity and especially the free resources. I have so many people that I talk to day in and day out every week. Oh, Courtney, business is this, business is that. Now guys, first of all, we do have to understand most businesses are seasonal. Most businesses have their peaks and their downs, okay? And when you are in a certain business, you understand that, okay? Just like, let's say resorts. Re most resorts are gonna be busier in the spring and summertime and the holidays, then let's say the winter months because people travel less, okay? <laughs> it's the holidays, okay? Most people are not gonna go to Jamaica, Bahamas in the wintertime because they'll go during the spring and summer. Kids are out of school, okay? Um, it's just the way it is. So the same thing, same thing applies to most businesses. I can't say all businesses because I don't understand all businesses, but just using a little common sense should tell us that, right? But are you taking advantage of free resources? Okay, for example, guys, you got here, you got this phone in my hand. People, Courtney, what, what do you use to record? How do you do your videos? This is a phone, the same phone that you're watching me on. I use this as opportunity. This device, okay, this resource has given me so much opportunity, all right? Why not take advantage of it? Then you can take your phone, you can record your videos, you can create your content, you can take your pictures, and you can go to free apps, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, my number one is YouTube, and you can upload the, that content, the, those pictures, those videos, okay, to those free sources. Because if these companies start charging you, then everybody's going to start complaining. So why not take advantage of these free resources while you have the opportunity? And that's all I do, guys. I just take advantage of opportunity, all right? Also, too, are you taking advantage of opportunity of people who can help you and guide you to another level in your business, in your life that, that, that you can't get there by yourself. Guys, again, I used to be that way. I used to try to do everything on my own. Oh, I don't need, I don't need no help. I don't need no guidance. I don't need no mentorship. All right. But guys, yes, you do. Because the reason why there are people who have been there, done that. They they see and they understand certain things that you don't understand yet, okay? And I will say this. One thing I can tell you for mentorship, it can get you there a whole lot quicker making less mistakes. Not to say you're not going to make any mistakes, but less mistakes. And guys, there is, there is so much value in that, okay? So take advantage even if you have to pay for it. Even if you have to pay for it, guys, and don't sit here and say, well, I can't afford it. Don't use that term. Don't use those words, guys, because if you really want it, okay, you can afford it. You might you might can't afford it now, but that doesn't mean you can't afford it tomorrow. So take advantage of the free opportunity and take advantage of the paid opportunities, okay, guys? Number two, the connection, all right? In my line of field, 
in the home service industry, a lot of contractors, they solely um, depend on price point, right? Because they are afraid of rejection. Again, guys, I went through this. I was afraid of rejection. I was afraid of people saying no. I was afraid of people not hiring my services, not using me. And guys, you have to remember, anything that you put out there, you're not going to, everybody is not going to connect with you, all right? Everybody is not going to see the value in you. And I'm here to tell you, and I've been saying this for a while, low prices or low price points will run away certain people just like high prices will run away certain people. So you have to understand that you are not going to connect with everybody no matter what you do. Okay, guys, I'm into coaching. I consider my, myself a mindset coach, help people change their mindset. Okay, but I, I'm connecting with different people now that I maybe uh, was not connected to 10 years ago. Why? For example, Steve Tobrin, he is a business coach. He teaches people how to transform their business, right? He's been doing that for over 30 years. I have the opportunity to work with Mr. Tobrin. Why? Because we have a connection. See what I'm saying? One of my business partners, Cameron Maysville, we work together. Why? Because we have a connection. So guys, you have to understand, when you put whatever you have to offer, whatever you have to sell your business, when you put it out there, everybody's not going to connect to it. And guess what? That's okay. It's okay. And, and, and don't even worry about the reason. Because once you understand, okay, that there is no such thing as lack, and you under, have a certain mindset, it's okay. Because you don't want to connect with everybody. See what I'm saying? There are certain opportunities that have come my way where I turned them down because I ju it just was not a good connection. There are people who have reached out to me for my advice, okay, and my expertise, but I choose not to work with them because I can pick up a certain language. I can hear certain terms, okay? If, if, if this doesn't go their way, they're going to blame me. I'm going to be the, 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 the person to point the finger at. So when I sense that, no, we're not going to be a perfect match. Even people, when they hire me, when they, when they try to pre-hire me, when they try to hire my services, if I hear a certain term or a certain word, or if I get a certain vibe, I'm not going to work with them because I've been doing this long enough to understand that sometimes, guys, it can go sour, okay? And once you understand this and you understand how to make a true connection, you will understand you are not meant to connect with everybody. All right, guys, that's my two tips of the day. See you in the next one.